be farming. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, uh, and if he needed help, he would usually ask somebody that knew what they were doing when it came to farming. Uh, but here recently, you know, every now and then, Mariana and I would kind of look around at businesses in Conway, and you know, maybe there's something we can buy, maybe get into, and, and, and kind of, you know, you, got, you guys get to do this every day. Y'all get to be the entrepreneurs, and we don't get to, I get to just feed off of what you guys do. Um, and I was thinking about, man, what if there's a company that maybe doesn't have a lot of technology, maybe the marketing could be improved, and you know, all these things. And I looked at Charlie, I'm like, you're the perfect example. You have a flip phone. Uh, you know, I don't think, I don't think you even have internet in Ozark. I don't know if Ozark has internet. Uh, they do, they do. Uh, so it just seemed like a very natural fit. Uh, he's been farming for 38 years, so almost 40 years uh, in Ozark, has 500 acres on his farm, over 200 cattle. Uh, he's been doing this a long time cows um, and so the idea came up when this farm to table thing became a big deal I mean, who all's bought directly from a farmer raise your hand okay so quite a few people we are farmers yeah you are farmers some of you have I've, I've learned terms of farm too uh, so that that's a trend that's happening that I don't think is going to go away and so you know he and I talked extensively about starting Barnum's Ozark beef uh, to provide uh, fresh beef to people right here locally here in Conway and I, he, somehow he agreed, so here we are. So um, I'll let Charlie say a few words. Uh, so it's all you, don't worry about the cameras. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. Uh, they don't have those I, much. I don't have much to say. I just want to thank all of you for coming out to support us. The farm to table concept is something that Edwin and I talk about. All our cattle were born on our farm, weaned on our farm, grain fed on our farm. We've got seven of them that we put up this first time to feed out and sell. Out of seven, none of them have ever had a needle in them. They've never had a hormone in them. It's all top notch. They're all cared, cared for by me, hand fed daily. So rest assured, you're not getting anything that's not natural. Enjoy it. Know that you're not putting anything harmful in your body. And help us out by all you can. <laughs> now, one thing that's a little bit different about their diets is they get sweet potatoes. Right? They do. They do. <laughs> sweet so, Charlie diet. contracted with a sweet potato company in Clarksville and gets some of their leftovers and brings them out to the cows and feeds the cows sweet potatoes. So uh, I don't know if there's a difference in the taste of the beef. Uh, so I don't want to say it's sweeter than any other beef. But, uh, but maybe five feet. I can tell you that. Yeah, they'll eat them up. Instead of happy cows, they're really happy. Very happy, yes, yes, absolutely. Well, can you tell them what the butcher said? Um, oh, so, I, so, you know, I went, we picked these up yesterday from Cypress Valley Meat Company and. Uh, the butcher said that the quality of this meat is as good or better than what you'll find in a grocery store. Uh, so it's, it's around the choice mark. It's not official because we have to like pay $4,000 to go to officially graded, but uh, around the choice here. So you know what meats is prime choice uh, select, right? And so, uh, so you know, we feel confident that we're at a, a very high-end beef. Uh, so you're getting some good stuff here. And, and let me talk about if you want to purchase beef, all you do is contact me and say, hey, I want a quarter, a half, or a whole, and then we'll work it out with you. Um, if you see these boxes, a quarter is two of these boxes. So it's not a, it's a lot, but it's not like overwhelming. So a quarter is a very reasonable amount. I know some people like my dad, he's buying a half, so thank you for doing that. Um, some people have to go and buy new freezers like he did and I did to, to, be, to be able to uh, have to That's my dad and my stepmom, Susan. Uh, so, hi guys, good to see you. Uh, so they're bringing out the meat. We're going to have a little bit of wine too, which is nice. So uh, just kind of take your time, settle in, relax. Uh, Angel's here. Angel is the uh, owner of Local Patio Grill. Uh, he's part been so owner. kind. Part, part owner. Yes. Uh, he's been so kind to let us have the ribbon cutting here and prepare the meat because if I was cooking meat, it wouldn't be as good. Uh, I, I trust Chef back there. He's a great cook. And uh, and also, uh, thank, thank you for letting us do this. You're here. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So anyway, so hang out. We're going to uh, eat here in just a minute. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry. I oh, 
Let me tell you why I'm dressed up. This is not beef oriented. Uh, so we had a big economic development announcement. DHC Technology is going to hire 1,200 new employees in Conway over a period of four years. So, so that's important you know, for you guys. That means a lot of people will be moving into the area. So realtors, bankers, you know, contractors, insurance. I mean, this is, this is going to be a pretty big time for all of you. Uh, so stay close to the chamber, get to know some of the people, and find out ways to get plugged in where you can. So uh, it's a big day. The governor's there, a bunch of people there. The CEO of DXC Technology flew in from London. Uh, so I mean, it, was, it was huge. It was huge. So that was a big win for Conway today. So anyway, that's all I've got, guys. Thank you. Well, uh, we'll, we'll, you want to kind of share how we're doing this? Uh, 